Hey everybody, Lanzer here. Today I'm going to do a play-by-play -play on Osher for the NC Vanguard. So Osher is a water planet, planet, continent, and it has a lot of little islands, a lot of space in between, but ironically, all that space means that there is a ton of armor and air all over the place. So, having... being that there is a lot of armor, my normal run is... Uh, has flanker, which doesn't make a lot of sense until you realize just how much air is involved in this continent. So, while the C4 isn't exactly much to be worried about, the A to G, just that, that volume of A to G, causes Flanker to be very, very helpful here. So, I just joined the squad, and as I do that, install my mobile armor, jump in my vehicle, and then pop my Osher. And I can't remember what I had, so I'll check it one more time. Oh, sure. Ha oh, halberd. Hmm. Probably because of the anti-armor, that makes sense. And then I have flanker to survive A to G. That's, that's probably the best move right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's deploy. So I'm in a squad, and I can see I already have logistics specialists equipped by default. So that's good. Uh, looks like we have a firing line going on here see what we're firing at. A player base, looks like. Okay. A player base with an orbital strike that we are in range of. So I'm going to go ahead and start hitting this orbital strike cannon. Do my part. Get a couple hits in elsewhere. Make sure I get credit for things that die. And then go back to the orbital strike. So two and a half, three and a half. There we go. So it's three and a half ticks. And just keep on going. Looks like a mag rider. For some reason. Next to the TR. Oh, yeah. So I don't anticipate being able to hit him much. Okay, so it looks like the TR base was in VS territory. Okay, which explains the Mag Rider. And our team and our tanks are just... Doesn't look like we have any infantry support. So there's not much I can do about this. And except taking pot shots at air. <laughs> but all the battles are elsewhere right now. Pretty big battle going on at Tanay Power. So... 675... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hoof it over there. Apparently that's where everything is right now too. So I'm gonna make my way over to Tanay. <coughs> Don't really see a whole lot going on. Sometimes the air is just rife. See, there's there's three mossies just right there. So that's what the flanker is for. Player bases are pretty, pretty helpful here. And that looks like a flail. And for player bases, the most important thing is the the spawn. Once you kill the spawn first, then the rest is kind of up to you. Get these mines out of the way. So i got to be careful because he is flailing. So that, that's a pretty smart move on his part. I'm going to take a look and see where he is. There he is, right there. 
So I'm just going to shoot the ground next to him. He's not going to be able to do much. There's a the flail again. Pretty smart guy. That's exactly what I would want to do if I could. Okay, so I got him. That was some pretty good base defense by him. So I'm going to want to kill this thing because that's what is going to allow him to spawn back. And continue to do damage to us from behind. Luckily this thing doesn't have a lot of health. So once you kill that, then you can kind of kind of move on if if you're pressed for time. Which in this case we are. Because the bigger battle is over here to the adjoining island. I'm going to keep on pot, sh pot shotting through the beans. If I can hit anything. <laughs> Alright, now let's get a lay of the battle. So here's the battle right here in front of me. Probably a Sunday over there. Lots of armor. Jeez, lots of armor. So I'm just going to gonna rapid heal and then we're gonna keep on going so it looks like there's definitely a multiple Sundays good news is I have heat and that was I hate those things flashes we're getting hit from behind I see That's that flash, wasn't it? It sure was. Smart move on the flash to wait. So that battle is well underway. Hopefully Tanae gives me it does not because we're hacked. Awesome. So that means I'm going to have to hack it back. That way it's not hacked. So I don't know what that thing was talking about. So I'm now going to go back and pull, make sure module mobile armor is in effect, so I can pull and only give up 225 instead of the full 360. Still want to do the same build, even though I'm there are a lot of lock-ons going on. There's plenty of masthead-like st stuff happening. So I'm going to keep flanker because I don't want a to G to be the reason why I die. I can already stop the pot shots and that is a lot. So let's start working on armor. Oof. They're just kind of lined up there. So I'll just shoot them. Two. So I'm taking quite a bit of damage, but I'm also dishing out a lot of damage too. I bet you I can sneak in a kill or two there. Yep. There's those Sundays. And I'm going to die here soon if I don't pull back. Oh, look. Okay, so he's dead. And so am I. I'm an aggressive tanker most of the time. That was kind of like a middle ground. And I still died, so. Why does it say that? Unsure. So, we'll just... We'll hoof it over there. Pull another one. So we'll keep going for a few more minutes. But you can start to see. Well you are seeing how the flow of battle happens. Lots of armor. Infantry interplay going on. And let's see. This time if I can get me a gunner. Be a little bit more effective. 
not really managing that very well right now. There's a lot of variables to take into account with all that's happening. So let's see if I can't get... Okay. So let's see if I can't get me a gunner. So we did move up. Looks like the battle line moved up. Quite a bit of people. Orbital strike. Predictable. But yeah. Orbital strike. Lots of flying blueberries. Tons. Let's see if I can't get that lightning. Okay, so he's going to take a little bit of damage. I don't think he knows. Oof, just a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, I've got him sighted in, though. Oop, missed. And if he backs up enough, I can hit him there, too. He's on fire, though. Oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit more. He's going to back up and heal. There we go. There we go. Come on. Got him. Okay. So in that case, he probably just sort of stayed behind. And lightning. Trying to sight me in. But I'm going to sight him in as well. Except I've got the shield. And I can sight you in as you go backwards. Oops. I messed that up. So I'm going to continue to just sit here and pop heal as I get back into action. That lightning is here again, but I've got him sighted. It's that turret that I need to be worried about, if anything. So yeah, that's about the gist of it, is lots of player bases, lots of enemy armor, Lots of air, kind of a lot of everything going on. That lockdown prowler probably shouldn't have locked down in in the middle of nowhere, where without cover, a lockdown prowler is a vulnerable prowler. So he's just trying to take pot shots while he survives. But I have the elevation to get a sight on him and to kill him. I don't think he realizes it now. He does. So he's gunning it. Smart move on his part. Still probably doesn't know I can see him. He's on fire. One more. Now he's dead. Okay. So then I'm just going to back up so that I can heal. I've got me a friend now. Thank you, fellow NG. Yeah, that's what I'd say is the basic gist of Osher oh, play-by-play for a tanker. I could run Nimitz, I suppose, if I wanted to right now because I'm far enough away to where the shield will repair. But I'm still... I find that... I myself, I'm too aggressive for that sort of play. I end up running, you know, <laughs> using using my tank as a battering ram, and that Nimitz isn't made for that, so most of the time. But because I'm playing a little bit farther back than I normally am right now, then I'd say maybe I might switch to Nimitz here in a pool or two. All right, that's that's about it. That's, that's what Osher is for a play-by-play -play on a Vanguard. Thanks, everybody.